Look, I think Japan, you know, is certainly a market that many people have found incredibly frustrating. And I think it's because often the average investor often gets caught up, caught up in the macro and, uh, and misses the, the sort of bottom up opportunity. But yeah, it, through, you know, the, the property market peaked in Japan in 1989. I mean, we, we've had a long time to consider uh, Japan's issues. And I, I just wonder over how all those years, how much you know, mental effort has been wasted on analysing Japan from a top down perspective uh, versus just buying good companies at the right price. And, uh, you know, um, I know there are lots of quant studies around Japan, what's worked, what hasn't. Uh, you know, GARP has worked, t dividend yield has tended to work, deep value has tended to work. It's kind of not our style. I mean, yes, we, we sort of know that from, that's what the quant tells you, but we use quant in a different way. It's, it's more about, you know, screening for anomalies and then uh, using our understanding on industries and sectors then to go deeper. And, and that worked, that really worked well. I mean, um, but it works well everywhere, not just Japan. Uh, but, uh, you know, in summary, I think Japan is just a great example of not getting caught up in the generalizations and, and focusing on the stock industry specifics.